Hey there, I'm Sam. Right now, I'm driving in my 2015 Fiesta ST. I bought this car with about 8,000 miles on it. Bought it salvaged from Copart Auction, like you're seeing a lot now on YouTube. And I only paid 2,900 bucks for it. Now, that was just for the damaged car. I'll do a video on this car soon, but where I'm going right now is to show you the Audi S3 I just picked up damaged. I'm in the process of rebuilding it. Let's go check it out. Now before you see the car, I figure I'll show you the photos that I saw before I bid on it. I bought the car sight unseen from the insurance auto auctions and I bid solely based off the photos. As you can see on the driver's side, it's sitting a little bit lower, which points to a suspension problem. Uh, also, most of the damage is contained on the driver's side, specifically the driver's side rear quarter panel. Otherwise, the rest of the car looks pretty good. There's a few little issues around, but even the front bumper looks reusable and everything looks to be there. I figured out my high bid, which we'll talk about in a later video, based off what could be the worst case scenario in all these issues. Now let's start working on it. So this car had a bunch of suspension damage on it. I say a bunch. The knuckles are made out of aluminum, they cracked. And uh, other than that, you know, stuff like control arms and Turbo Mike is under there, taking the K member down. Whoa, no cursing on YouTube, Mike. Oh. All right, so this bolt right here, we have to drop the K member because it's touching the transmission housing. You see all the grease from the CV axle, which is over here. And of course, I ordered a replacement which is right here, and they send me the rear. But anyway, that'll all get taken care of. Basically get the control arm out, we got the axle out, and the knuckles out, and then we just put everything back together. So just so why you see how they total cars, see this piece right here? Uh -huh. This is a, what do you call this, like a wishbone? This thing? Yeah. I guess a wishbone. Uh, a link of some sort. See, Mike's installing the new one right there. And uh, this piece costs about $20 used or maybe 50 new. And a uh, new one would come off a car, or a used one would come off a car. Uh, this is what I was talking about, your preload. See how this has play and it falls down? Mm -hmm. So it has to be tightened at a certain point. And then when it's down all the way, this you retighten it. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about the preload. Because what happens is, see if this is tight down, mm -hmm. it won't have any movement, and then you'll break this bushing. Oh, uh, okay. So you need to go on just right. But, you'll break as soon as you put the car down. Uh, thanks for messing up my great segment. No, I'm kidding. Um, well, that was a lesson on preload from Turbo Mike. And uh, this is the sort of stuff you see this, like the pink marker. Anything that you know visually even looks like it gets touched the insurance company will go and draw on it so you see this pink marker on there and doesn't necessarily mean it's broken like that spring I don't see anything wrong with that spring turbo Mike doesn't see anything wrong with that spring but um they would replace it just you know for liability reasons and all this stuff added up they'll total the car A quick summary of what was broken on this car, suspension-wise. Front knuckle, the rear knuckle's back there somewhere. Um, control arm bent. This is a rear rotor, cracked. This is a front rotor, it's fine. That's a replacement knuckle. Um, replacement rotor. And just a few little pieces. This is like a little end link right here that's broken. And... That's about it. So after all the work on the suspension, this is how the car is sitting today. Notice that hose running out of the front. That's the hose that runs the, from the windshield washer reservoir to the front headlight washers. Uh, you see the passenger side of the car is pretty much a normal 25,000 mile car. Uh, the rear, the tail lights were pulled out in transit. They did come with the car as you'll see when I open the door. Um, the hood, the front bumper is actually in pretty good shape. The driver's side headlight uh, was completely destroyed. Everything in the engine bay, though, 
uh, was, believe it or not, uh, in very good shape. Usually, you know, sometimes you'll see uh, pieces of plastic cracked or whatnot, but everything in there was pretty good. That front lower grill is missing. Um, some of the wheels were curbed a little bit, but I had them all balanced, and they all balanced just fine. Here's a little close-up of the damage you see. There's a little bit all down the side. It's pretty minor on the two doors. Uh, however, you can see really where it was hit on this quarter panel. Not quite sure how it happened. And you could see in the original photos that the curtain airbag was deployed. But one thing you couldn't see, and this is why you always need to expect unexpected things in these auctions, is that the driver's side uh, seat airbag also went off. But other than that, the interior is really clean. Both of those things are replaceable, and the seat can be repaired. And uh, all the electronics seem to work great, too. You can see they threw all the spare parts in the back like they do at a lot of these auctions. Well, I hope you like this video. There's more to come on the S3, and you might be wondering why I'm showing you this Jetta. Well, this is also at the shop that we're working on the car at, and uh, this is my Jetta. I reluctantly won it at a Copart auction. This wasn't an insurance car. This was a dealer car. And I'm going to tell you how much I lost on it. Yeah, this has been a huge money pit for me. And it looks pretty decent in these photos, but it's cost quite a bit. Everybody thinks you get such a great deal buying a damaged car. And that can definitely be the case, but in some instances it's not. Well, if you like this video and want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll be back with more body shop, building, and car related videos. Till next time. China? China, yeah.